Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. This time we're looking at the third and final figure from the action figure three pack um, from Return of the Jedi, the Skiff pack. Um, now we're looking at Brock Starsha. This is a, a re-release of a figure from 2014's The Black Series 3 and 3 quarter inch line. Um, he was labelled then as Jabba's, Jabba's Skiff Guard, I think. Um, and... A lot of people revert to him, especially myself. I think my my review on the channel here is still under Sergeant Doe Allen, but it, uh, it is a different character entirely, apparently. So we'll get a look at this one. So they've released this one officially as Brock Starsha now. So pretty cool image looking on the card, considering you don't really see much of this guy in the movie. He's sort of just there on the skiff. He is VC-154. Other figures in the waves. I still need to get those two. So there you have it. So let's have a look at the figure and uh, I'll be comparing him with the original release shortly. So he comes with a quite a glossy black helmet. Pretty simple looking white jumpsuit. I do like these little hoses that sort of connect. I assume they're meant to connect to the back of his helmet. Um, but just for the purposes of the figure, they they don't. And they sort of mould down into his pockets. Accessory wise, he does come with this blaster pistol, which most of the skiff guards all come with. And the skiff uh, electro staff. Electro blade, whatever you want to call it. So again, it's a pretty simple white looking jumpsuit, but the uh, all the creases and the sculpt in it are, are really well done. It's a cool, really cool looking figure um, for that alone. And brown strut down the side of the pants, better than down the back. <laughs> Ah, uh, just standard black boots. They'll look good too. Articulation wise, he's got a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows. Uh, only swivels in the wrists, uh, swivel at the waist, swivel, swivel thighs, it's ball jointed knees, and ball jointed ankles. So now we'll get a close look at his 2014 counterpart, which for the most part is really pretty much the same. Uh, the helmet on the 2014 version isn't glossy and shiny like the new one. But aside from that, I'm not noticing any differences, not even weathering. Um, as I pointed out in the Vazam video before, some slight differences there with weathering. Um, if we go down to the boots, there's even only slight differences in weathering there. Uh, this is probably a little bit standy yet. Stand out. This one probably stands out a little bit more. But aside from that, there is very little, very little difference in these two figures. No difference at all, except for what I've mentioned. So uh, I'm going to customize one of these up and uh, maybe just change a head, paint some suit. Uh, I don't know yet. We'll see. So probably the least exciting one of the bunch for me, but still a cool addition. And I can't wait to have those skiffs <laughs> uh, to go with the barge. It's going to look awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you.